it's obvious that this was a partisan deployment. And we'll show you two more short videos. These two vehicles, this black Land Cruiser and the one behind it, are the vehicles of the parliamentary candidate for Iwaso West Wagon, the MPP candidate, Lydia, who is currently in parliament. Now watch behind the cars. You see a police vehicle. You see those guys again. They were escorting her from polling station to polling station. And so they were providing security to the parliamentary candidate of the NPP. This is the meteorological station, the headquarters of the meteorological agency. There's a polling station there. And so she was going on an inspection of the polling stations. And these guys who perpetrated the violence were escorting her from polling station to polling station. I mean, if they were neutral participants, what would they be doing escorting one parliamentary candidate and then attacking the house of another and discharging weapons and injuring people? And so it just shows absolute proof that this was a partisan deployment. And as they themselves said, a dress rehearsal for the year 2020. To see the list, this is unpatriotic and shameful. It is because if he gathered Ghanaians, call it Ghanaians in the academia or Ghanaian professionals, Ghanaian businessmen, and he talked about matters of concern to him, I have no problem. He's a former head of state and therefore a very important opinion leader. But to gather foreigners and try to paint Ghana black is just not acceptable. What is he really after? What does former President Mahama want to portray? Why does he want to paint Ghana black when indeed there is nothing to paint black? There was some violence. It didn't happen in the polling station. It happened, as it were, in the parliamentary candidate's house, away from any polling station. And we are yet to know who even shot. Why would you want this to look like it's a national disaster? There's really nothing. It's not good, and I will never support any such thing. But if you look at what has happened in previous by elections in this country, this is nothing more than what had happened earlier. Somebody drove through a crowd in a by-election in the TWA. All right, so Kofi, mm. does, do you think Osafo Mafo is right that John Mahama was speaking to the diplomatic corps and that if he had organized some Ghanaians and he was talking to them about, you know, washing our dirty linings before them, that would have been okay. But he shouldn't do this. And listening to Osafu Mafu, do you get the impression that he himself doesn't know what exactly is going on as far as these matters are concerned? Hmm. So, I agree with my uncle, Osafu Mafu. It's been a long time. You have many uncles. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> it's my uncle, Pa. Um, Samson, these are serious matters. My uncle Osafu Mafu is in government. He should be minded and should be motivated to get to the bottom of this. We had video clips, etc. He has the power of state and the resources of states. If he's minded, he should be seen to be proactively trying to get to the bottom of this, if for nothing at all, for the sake of the fact that he's a senior minister here. That is where I have a problem. It comes across as if he's more interested in what people tell these diplomats about us and not too interested in my security. I have news for him. The diplomats tend to know more about what is going on in this country than some of our officials, and I have evidence. I was just telling you how I visited. I was in Washington at a point, and at the time we were doing some of these demos and things, and I saw a report with our names in it. Go to any serious embassy here. They know whoever is doing what. So it's no news to them, per se. So he shouldn't be worried that anybody is washing dirty linen. What he should be worried about is what is the truth of the matter. Mm. The only thing I'll have to say but about this video brings an addition to the discussion. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, all of us may not have been, or most of us may not have been aware mm. of this group yeah. policing the candidates yes. of the NPP. Yes, but this, this is a footage. So that's, that's where I was going. That 
that evidence that President Mahama has is material. And I would expect him, whatever he wants to do with it, to properly submit it for investigation. And it's necessary for the growth of our democracy. Sometimes politicians do things because they're in power and they think because we can do it, we've done it. And when some of these things come up and they are looked into, then we will get back and then we'll create rules. My only problem with President Mahama is that he may not have, I'm saying may because I don't know if he has made an official report that here is evidence I have. Dear police, take a look at it. Maybe here this issue, make a formal complaint because it is not proper. Okay, we've come through a lot in our democracy. All kinds of things happen. We get back, we fix them. Then we say nobody can do this anymore. So I don't worry about the truth. I ask, what is the truth? Okay. 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 And I think that right. government represented by Osafu Mafu should mm. be more minded to take action, mm. find the truth, and give us okay. some sort of Now, actually, what does this particular video also tell you about what is going on at the commission so far and the narrative? about intelligence that led to that house. Because as you can see, clearly, oh. they were giving the woman escorts. Well, um, I, I would say that that is what, um, in the video, the former president claims at this stage. I don't want to say it that because he has said so, mm. it is true. Mm. Uh, what have you seen in that video? What well, did you see? So, so there were two... Land cruisers, mm -hmm. or you know, four by fours, mm. and I saw a big, uh, you know, well-built gentleman behind one of them, and the former president says, "Look, these are two cars, and these two cars belongs to, belong to the candidate of the MPP, right. who is now the MP, and that they were escorting him from polling, escorting her from polling station to polling station." Is that what you hesitate to trust about well, about the ownership of the vehicles, or? what the group was doing which which one do you have a difficulty uh, you or see, are you hedging trusting at this stage it's important to not attempt to confuse the public and therefore uh, our way of perhaps helping the commission and the ongoing processes is to be factual mm. and to say that well this is what the former president has said mm. i have I have not had any official investigative report that confirms what has been said so far. But as Kofi said, I think that, and as you have said, this is incredibly important for the Commission's work. Let it be submitted and be proven mm. that indeed these cars belong to the candidate of the MPP. Or that, I have, or that this was a coincidental meeting that she got there at the same time the group also exactly. got there. Exactly. That, that's, that also, also that's also a possibility. Okay. But as I have said, if you ask me about my belief, and my beliefs may not be the facts, I just believe them. I don't have evidence yet to say they are factual. My belief is that what happened could not have been a, a, as they are claiming that it was a national security operation and not related to the elections. My belief is that indeed it was an action related to the election, either to cause confusion or, you know, to, to, to prove that, look, you guys want to show you what we have. And, and going forward, any by-election or 2020, you should be aware that if anyone dares... For you, this is a purely this, political operation. That's what I believe, you know. And of course... Why, why it's, would it's, the government be interested in that? Well, um, something. You, you because had, this was you a had, constituency that... Mm -hmm they were going to win anyway. You heard the, the senior minister mm. talk about the fact that this is not new and that in a Tiwa, you know, mm. armed men drove in. And in almost every by-elections that have been, you know, held, similar things have happened. And in fact, I believe that it is on the basis of that that he finds what President Mahama has done quite, you know, not, not the right thing to do. So as far as the senior minister is concerned, and this is a senior minister, that's mm. his title. So okay. he is a top figure in the government. What do you also think? Did, did, did President Mahama do wrong? He says this is an, a most unpatriotic you know, conduct of the former president. Well, for me, I think that, as Kofi has said, look, we all engage with the diplomatic community here. They sometimes would invite you to talk to you about issues and so on and so forth. And I have the conviction that sometimes they even have more, and they know more. Now, fact is that what happened, the videos that have gone viral, you know, the internet has no boundaries. 
everywhere. People in sometimes you would even receive a video from somebody who is in the UK or US mm -hmm. that you have not even seen. So this is something that is all over the world. And I don't think that the single act of the former president, you know, is what would get the diplomatic community to be aware or to know what is happening. Indeed, what is happening as he's He's saying that he wants to portray the thing as a disaster. It's not just a disaster. It was a catastrophe. It, it shouldn't have happened. Interesting. You know, so okay. for me, mm. my point is, oh, maybe I may be going into internal NDC politics, but the way the thing was presented, you know, um, a press conference to, to be addressed by the, I mean, a, a meeting with the diplomatic community to be addressed by the former president and these things were presented as though it's the official NDC okay. position mm. and on what basis would former president okay. Muhammad be right. the one to, but that that's an internal NDC okay. uh, matter right the, the doc the the uh, dr Dosai, the the Osafo Afo says this was unpatriotic and shameful to do this before the diplomatic call now the president's um, campaign office uh, his spokesperson uh, or spokesperson for the campaign issued a statement and part of the statement said that it must also be pointed out they said Otafumafu is wrong he should rather be thinking about what they said was the uh, MPP sponsored Tagri on the day of the elections it said it must also be pointed out that it is not unusual for government opposition and other key opinion leaders to routinely brief stakeholders, including the international community, on major developments in the country. Indeed, this practice is not alien to the NPP. Instead of Mr. Safumafo and his cohorts worrying their heads over who is being briefed, they should concentrate on arresting the perpetrators of the mayhem and bringing them to justice. Is this usual? He says this is usual routine. I do, I, I do not think it, this is usual. I think, you see, just as my other colleagues have said, all the development partners or the embassy, they have defense attache, and they have more information than we do. You know, so to start with, I, I, I really do not think that all these things should have happened, especially briefing them and this one com commenting, this one saying that it is the usual thing. Well, what was issued a statement and condemned what was going on. Yeah, what, what, what I think should have happened was, once the former president has this information, you need to help the process. Package it nicely, send it to the commission. And that is where I think NDC should rescind their decision, say that they will not appear before the commission. They should support the process. I think they should have faith and confidence in the commission and appear before them and give them this particular evidence. Sam George was assaulted, said he would appear. Definitely he should. Yes. He should. I believe they should appear, support the process. This is a new information. And I think it will help all of us. Yeah. Whichever way we look at it, whether he's been patriotic or patriotic, we want a solution to the problem. Mm -hmm. Everybody should be apolitical in this matter. It is national security we are talking about. We're not talking about NDC or NPP. Mm -hmm. You know, so Osafu Mafu can make his statement. NDC can respond, but the bottom line is we need the truth to resolve the problem, to inject a lot of discipline in our national security space. That's what we need. Mm. But it is not usual. They are saying that it's the usual thing that normally happens, that you have to, both government and opposition would have to brief development partners or embassies about the happenings in the country. There are a lot of things happening in this country. It's not only the Ayawaso issue. Why is it that the former president did not brief them on other matters? Or he singled out this one because it is very important. I think it is good he did that, but he should package it nicely, give it to the commission, so that we can find a solution to this matter. We should not politicize it at all, because once we introduce politics into it, we'll miss the point. And that is not what we want at this stage. Okay. So, and, and they, they talk about somebody contemplating or the NDC saying they will not participate. That is a, that is a party's position. But once the commission issues a summons to you. Yeah. Mm. You will be refusing at the pain of That's going punishment. through a process yeah. and to getting into prison. Um, but I think the commission has the power to cause a person mm -hmm. who refuses to comply with an order or a directive of the commission or acts in a manner contemptuous of the commission to be charged by the Attorney General who 
with contempt of court and for that person to be tried by the high court. Uh, that's just one of the things that the commission can do to you. So take notes yeah. <laughs> if and you get them. There is a legal <laughs> argument that the yeah. NDC is a body corporate, is a yeah. registered institution. Right. And in a sense, a legal person. If there is merit in having official testimony, mm. the commission can actually call them. Right. But whatever it is, look, mm. our democracy has progressed sometimes through agitations. Mm. Yeah. And when we've learned lessons from these agitations and made changes, we have become stronger. So we urge the NDC to cooperate in this process. In fact, mm -hmm. at a point, I thought they asked for it. And like I'm saying, around that time, no, they there, asked was, for yes, it. there were a number of people who came and they were disappointed that this, the government won't do anything about this and all those things. And then the commission comes mm. around. Yeah. So we are asking, in the interest of our democracy, mm. its growth, its strengthening, that they should participate, get the benefit of their viewpoint, mm. and we can turn this into lessons and structures mm. that will strengthen our democracy. And, and to okay. to what, right, uh, now come yeah. to you about you what, John Mahama put out. <laughs> yes. okay, so what John Mahama put out. What John Mahama put out to the diplomatic community and the response by Yao know, Safu Mafu. Mm. What do you say? Well, I'm saying that we shouldn't make uh, a storm out of a tea teacup in a sense this has happened uh, there'll be a lot of briefings around and so on I'm interested in the evidence that he purported to put out there mm. and the need for that evidence to go to the Commission mm. you know we, we can draw a lot of conclusions out of this um, a parliamentary candidate may not even know who is accompanying her the security arrangements all of those things how do we draw conclusions how are we sure who the vehicles belong they should take them all to the Commission and, um, and, and make sure that Ghanaians understand that they are patriots first mm -hmm. before politicians. Look, most people believe that um, even though these people came from the national security or whatever, there were elements in it mm -hmm. that were there, okay, assuming that they were actually sent, assuming that they were actually sent to do this work based on intelligence, okay? If the people who were sent there were not really um, trained well enough because they have been gathered from some place and given the arms and so on and so forth, we want to know the truth. Because this idea of political vigilantism has already come into the system. The danger is that if they were sent on a lawful mission, but because they have grown bigger than those who sponsor them, who um, 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 bring them together, who give them the food, the money, and all of that, they're going to eat them up. Mm -hmm. I may have been sent there for a legitimate purpose. I don't know yet, but I may have been sent. But when I got there, mm. I also have to demonstrate my crutchy powers. Mm -hmm. On the ground, I am telling those people who sent me, whoever they are, that I have power. And I'm going to use this power to negotiate my way into what I want. Okay. And this does not belong to just the NPP, even though, of course, the NPP is in power now. So um, this is squarely on their doorsteps when it comes to who takes responsibility for making it right. Both our political um, um, traditions yes, mm. need to look each other in the eye. When they take down their political hats, they are related by blood or by affection, or adoption, or friendship, or whatever it is. Eyeball to eyeball, man to man, woman to woman, and say, we did this. If there are political sacks in the system, we have either promoted <coughs> them, we have used them, they have been organized for our purposes. And the past says they but don't belong to, to the parties. Mm -hmm. It is individuals within the parties mm -hmm. that sponsor them. And he gives the assurance, mm -hmm. like Ambrose Derry did, mm -hmm. and also Brian Echampo did, mm -hmm. that they, are, they have been holding a number of meetings and taking steps mm -hmm. to ensure that they are disbanded. Well, you see, they haven't assured some of us about the steps that they are taking. And here I'm, not, I'm saying don't look at it as just our problem. Look at it as the problem of the state. Mm. Look at it as a problem of the citizens. And go beyond your political coloration. You are taking steps okay. Is the NDC involved in these steps that are being taken? Because both political traditions have promoted what we are seeing and which we believe have elements in this particular incident. Um, mm -hmm. uh, yes. Dr. Dr. Enin have told us yes. that now these groups, mm -hmm. you have some of them, we have those that we know 
clearly are associated mm -hmm. with MPP and NDC. Mm -hmm. But there are those who are for hire. They yes, are there. exactly. So, so Kandapa is right to say, to some extent, mm -hmm. Maybe not, you know, uh, uh, But you see, it doesn't Minister, matter. Minister for national yes, it doesn't Minister matter exactly whether some yes people no. are the ones sponsoring them or that the political parties themselves have. They are here. Mm. Some are for her. Some will go to NDC stuff and do mm. and people and, and, and vice versa. It doesn't matter. We have made monsters mm. who will eat us up. If the two of us don't sit down as brothers, there will be nothing of us left. Mm. If we continue in this, let's look at each other in the eye and mm. come out with ways in which we can either disown, disband, or make sure that they are not growing out of proportion. It's that imperative. is the problem we have. It's, it's imperative. Mm. It's look, okay. when they get out with their families, mm -hmm. okay, you can mm. remove your wife, your, ch your children, maybe. You are your, your grandmother, your aunties, your nephews, your mm. nieces. Where are they? Are you going to put them all on Emirates and, fl and fly them out? Okay. <laughs> all right. So um, we'll share some of your views, uh, take another break. And when we return, we'll focus on the problems coming out of the creation or naming of regional capitals and to seek to find out whether these are hindrances to the development that the creation of the regions are uh, supposed to bring. Now, uh, Musa in Kumasi says that uh, so many contradictions in the testimonies given by the three ministers. Interior minister says the car that was um, had uh, written on it, police SWAT, bo boldly, um, doesn't belong to the police. Kandapa said the operation was under the command of police, which is which. The stories, uh, it, it is clear that some of them were national security operatives and some of them were from the police. That's what we have been told. Uh, Benjamin Osei Jamra in Edinburgh says that uh, the scope of the commission's work should have been expanded to Etiwa and other areas that experienced same violence under the administration of John Mahama. Okay, from Idris Odum in Bojoasi, he says, after watching the commission's work for two days and hearing the contradictions from the security capos, my initial reaction is that the masked men were deployed by political leaders. The commission should redirect, should direct the national security to physically produce all those masked men and uh, documents to prove their identity. Okay. Um, for Elias in Tamale says, the NDC that sought to bastardize the commission will by this time start revising their notes. One thing is certain, that by elections in Ghana would never be the same after the commission's hearing. Commissioners have uh, demonstrated class in their line of questioning. OK, uh, interesting uh, questions you raised there. Now, um, uh, Notice sends me a message. He says that um, all these ministers should be fired and, and, and leaders should be fired. No factual operational reports uh, submitted thus far. You know, <laughs> Dr. Dross, I raised that issue. Where are the details? Where are these men um, as we speak? Where are the vehicles in question? Who branded them as police vehicles? Why are the police being grilled more than the ministers? So simple, he says, everybody who has responsibility should be fired. We take a break, return and ask questions about problems coming as a result of what may appear a mere exercise of simply naming capitals of the regions that have been created. Hmm.